Hi, I'm Alex, host of The Early Show with Alex. I'm an intergalactic ambassador of care. This is my ship. Through time and space, through space and time, I come to your planet to learn all about your little humans and find out how to care for them. Why are they sleeping? Why are they crying? Why are they laughing? What are they doing? Why is it looking at me that way? In the most important cultural scientific hub of the universe, New Mexico. Take it away, ship. Not that far away. Come back, come back, ship. Right there, oh, that's it, perfect. In the earliest time slot possible, which is this one, because this is the early show. With me, Alex. It's so early. Ship, is everything ready? Quest Glove, this is your big moment. That was amazing. Nice work. Are you going to release the single soon? Oh, always disappearing, Quest Glove. Oh, oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome. Welcome to the early show with Alex. That's me. Alex, I'm so excited you're here. We have the most special guest, Lily, the home visitor. Ship, ship, I want you to teleport in Lily. Woo, Lily! Hey, oh my Welcome. goodness. Welcome. Everybody Alex. look, it's Lily, she made it. You survived the teleportation. <laughs> I did, that was my first. You never forget your first teleportation. I want you to tell us all about yourself. Okay, well, my name's Lily, yeah. and I, I'm a home visitor in New Mexico. Oh. So home visiting is a relationship-based program, huh. which means that you get the same person who knows about children and babies, oh. a lot about babies, and the same person comes to your house when you're expecting parents or caregivers with children under the age of five, and they just give you support. Wow. Yeah, twi like twice a month usually. Oh, so you meet a lot of babies. Babies. Yes, sure they make do. that scary noise, don't they? Like this. <laughs> they do, they cry. I work with the caregivers of young babies because oh. taking care of the babies can be really hard sometimes. They're very small. They're very small and they, they can't tell us what they want. They can't oh. speak. Do they also sleep like the rest of the humans? <laughs> babies do need to sleep. Oh. Babies need to sleep a lot. Wow, why? Well, because when babies sleep, they grow and they develop. So I like to think of the ABCs of safe sleep. So A is for alone. Alone. B is for on their backs. On their backs. And C is for in a crib. C for in a crib. ABCs. A, B, C. Wow, we don't need sleep on my planet. Mm, yeah. We just do this. <laughs> and then we're all better. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I wish it was that easy. Do all the little baby humans sleep the same way? Well, no, not all babies sleep the same way. Some cultures put their babies to sleep differently. Oh, the ship has an incoming transmission from my friend, Zach. Can you beam it in, ship? Hi, Alex, my name is Zach Ben. I am of the Navajo tribe, and here today, we have a Navajo crater board. Awaits odds is what we call them in Navajo. We have the footboard, the rainbow to protect them. We have the back panels here, the mother of earth and father sky. We have the male and female lightning, which make up the buckskin straps. And these are the um, elemental makeups of the cradle board. So a hat and thank you for having us on. Wow. So does everyone have to build their own place for their baby to sleep? No. Actually, our program gives bassinets to the families we serve for free. Oh, wow. Yeah, they can keep them. They get to keep them. Yeah, and in fact, anyone who signs up for home visiting can ask their own home visitor to bring them a bassinet. I wish we had a bassinet to show our audience. Well, I have one in my office. Do you think I can ask Ship to beam it up? Of course. All right, let's try it. Hey, Ship, can you please beam the safe sleep kit from my office? Oh, okay, here it is. Perfect. Thanks, Ship. Oh, how'd you get there, Alex? Well, teleportation, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. So what's this? Okay, so this is a bassinet similar to the one that I bring for my home visits. It has a nice railing around it. A railing? A railing. The baby can't roll out when they're sleeping. Wow, babies Maybe roll? Stay. Yeah, sometimes babies get to the age where they can roll, they start to move around, and this keeps them nice and safe in here. And then you see the mattress is nice and firm. Nice and firm. 
Where's all the fur? <laughs> no fur in there. What? Nothing in here except for BB. We bring the bassinet like this. We also bring the safe sleep materials to review with parents. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then we bring these really cute books, really nice little books to read with families. So families can start to have a little library at home for their babies. Excellent. Yeah, we have those in English and Spanish. And then we also have these really nice onesies oh. that remind us which position babies should go to sleep in, which they is on up. their backs. Yeah. Side up, exactly. And I wish that we had a baby, a baby. so that I could show you just Chip. how it would be baby. in there. Oh, perfect. There There's a the baby. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so this baby is nice and cozy, nice and warm, because we don't want to put blankets in there, right? No, no blankets. Just alone. Just layers of clothing to keep them warm. Gotcha. Yeah. So now this baby is nice and warm. We're going to put them in there on their back, nice and cozy, oh, wow. restful sleep. Aww. Yeah. Aww. You and I created a safe sleep environment. All right. High five, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it sounds like that's all we have time for, Lily. OK, thanks, thanks for, for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 How do you say goodbye in your planet? Bye. <laughs> it's really weird that it's the same Bye. sound. I mean, what are the odds, you know? Like that. Huh. We have a whole other language, but... Maybe we're related. Whoa. That would be crazy, don't that you think? That would be, yeah. Wow. What's your last name? Could be Hanson. Oh, mine's... Oh, oh yeah. that kind of sounds... Maybe. Yeah, maybe we're cousins maybe or something. Maybe we're cousins. I don't yeah. know.